Hello, and welcome to creating a directory with Page Designer. My name is Keith Bartman uh, with PictureDirector.com. I'll be your instructor today. And uh, this is a feature of Picture Directory for Windows. So today we're going to talk about what Picture Directory for Windows is. We also call it PDFW. What is Page Designer? How to create a page design template and how to print using a page designer template. Okay, I'm going to close this window. We'll get back into the, here. This is a page designer that we're looking at here. Okay, so what is Picture Directory for Windows? Picture Directory for Windows is software that um, allows you to create a printed directory. A lot of uh, people um, would still uh, like to have a directory that they can hand out to members within their organization. And this software gives you a way of entering the data, uh, organizing it the way you want, and then printing the directory. Today we're talking specifically about the design pages or page designer feature that's built into Picture Directory for Windows. What is page designer? Page designer is uh, the feature built in that allows you to customize the look and feel of the directory to have it be just like you would like. Let's go into page design now. You can uh, go into it either via the button down here called design pages or there's a another link up here in the toolbar called create your own print template with page designer. Let's click on that. It presents you with a dialog to open a um, page design. We have uh, templates, the predefined uh, system templates that you can use that describe uh, what they are. And then uh, down here it lists those that you've used or um, created recently. So let's start actually with one that I just created recently. I'm going to cl click on it, click open. It opens it up and now we're back to the agenda that we had before. So now we're going to talk about how to create a page designer template. There's the front cover that you can have, the inside front cover, uh, the directory pages, the calendar events, inside back and back cover. And you can select which parts of that directory you want by clicking on the page selection menu option and if I click this the cover goes away. If I click it again, the cover comes back. And you can do that with the others as well. Calendar events is um, blank for this specific directory, but um, you can have calendar events that uh, you use to list the names and addresses of uh, people within your directory. Okay. So as I was saying, these are the tabs across the top. You can uh, include or exclude uh, these various sections. Uh, like, for example, uh, here's calendar events. Uh, it's blank. Um, but anyway, um, calendar events you can print or not print. Whoops, there it is. I'm not sure what happened there, but it is back. So you can choose to include or exclude calendar events. So let's go ahead and uncheck it. And then let's check it again, meaning we're going to want to print this. And there it is. Okay, so and then here's the directory pages. Um, directory pages can be laid out um, with a picture around the text anywhere you want. So essentially there's two elements per directory entry, entry a picture section, which you can include or not include and then a text section where you uh, decide what directory fields that you want printed for each entry. Okay, so how do you design the front cover? So here we created a background image um, that looks like a chalkboard and then uh, and you can get creative with this and I tried to get a little bit creative here that uh, looks like uh, what appropriate for what we're doing here is teaching you how this feature works. Um, and so each 
the front cover, the inside front, the inside back, and the back cover all have subtabs called graphic, which is a background graphic for the page. Or, you know, you could stick it like here, for example, and it would be a graphic uh, that you use. Um, like, uh, here's uh, an example of uh, some of the graphics that come with it. Um, of course, they don't look good with uh, how I designed the other stuff, but um, those are clip art that comes with it. And then to set it, you click on the set button and then select your particular picture that you want to use. Let's go back to the one that that I had, put that picture back, and there it is. So as I said before, there's the graphic, the title, the subtitle, the content one, and the content two, which we just showed you how to change the um, the background image. And again, there's the, these two arrows are for the clip art, and this is to set it from your own picture or image or own clip art. Um, and then this is, each of these elements has a left top width and height. They're all um, in unit of measure of inches. So left to 0 0.25 means a quarter inch from the left. So we want to position the background graphic a quarter inch from the left and a quarter inch from the top. We want the width of the background image to be five inches and the height to be eight inches. And as you can see, we're in booklet format um, so that's where um, one side of the page is a, an actual page when it, the directory is folded. The other side of the page is uh, another page. And so it's a, a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that is uh, in landscape mode or orientation. Okay, so for example, if I change uh, the position of this to, um, let's say, a half an inch and we're looking at the graphic again you'll see that it uh, we we changed the top to a half inch so it moved the graphic down so then we'll change it back to uh, a quarter of an inch and it puts it back up where it was so each of these is you would position that way for example a title again um, let's say that I make it uh, one inch down and it puts it down there and let's go back to uh, three quarters and it puts it back up there. And you can specify the width and the height um, for the title and subtitle, they're one line. So uh, there is no uh, wrapping of the, t of the title or subtitle. It's one line of text and it calculates the height based on the font size. And you select the font size here. In this uh, area, since I have the font colored as black, I mean, as white, I don't see it because this is a white background. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a glitch, but it's not really that big of a deal as long as you know what's going on there. Um, otherwise, we'd be able to see um, a preview of the font. So to select a font, you just click Set Font, uh, select the one that you want. Let's change it to Broadway and click OK. And you'll see that change the font. And of course, it uh, actually uh, cut off part of it because it is bigger than what would fit in that space. So um, if we change the font size to be smaller, um, then it would fit there. Okay, let's change it back. Well, instead of doing that, let's just, uh, well, no, let's change it back to what it was. Um, so come back up here, and it was uh, went down too far. There it is. Oh, sorry. I'm using... Uh, Uh, got another technical glitch in just a minute here. Okay, let's put the font back to what it was. I think it was Bradley Hand, and I think it was 16. Uh, it was a little bigger than that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so this, uh, it isn't drag and drop. Um, the way you lay it out, um, it's specific by measurements. And then um, and when you select a font, it, you know, it's a little, I don't know, wanky, I guess you could say, in terms of how you do that. But um, the final result is really good. So it's a lot better than uh, what you could uh, attempt to do in Microsoft Word to create a directory and 
the biggest problem that people have with that is, you know, people come and go and leave, and the way you have to lay it out with uh, something like Microsoft Word, uh, it's a mess to try to do a booklet format or, or even a regular one. This makes it a ton easier to do that, and uh, so that's why people really like it. And if you want, uh, you know, you can skip using the cover um, and the inside and the inside back and the back cover and use your own uh, application to create the cover and uh, very simply print those separately and then just print the directory pages, which is the, really the hard part for a lot of people is to get that those directory pages the way you want. So um, that covers the inside back. I mean, you can have um, something on your back cover uh, your inside back. We let, intentionally left this blank here. We could easily uh, add a title by saying uh, 0.25 the left, 0.25 top, or whatever value you want. And let's say uh, width of uh, four and a half. And it does the height automatically. And let's actually put the top down to like three. And let's just say this page intentionally left blank. And let's go ahead and center that text. All right, make it a little bigger. Can't really see that very well. So, and just so you know, this is uh, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get when you print. So what you see here is what you get. Uh, the directory pages, when you're in Page Designer, you only see the first page of your directory. You don't see a full preview of every single page that you can walk through. However, um, when you go to print it, before you print, you do get a full preview. So, all right, so that covers that. We talked about calendar events, all of the cover stuff, and now the directory, that, which is the meat of everything. Um, so before while I'm thinking about it and looking at these dotted lines around everything that's not what actually prints so there's there's a little tool up here that uh, helps you determine the box sizes that you've set the width the, the height and the position of these elements on the page uh, which are left top uh, this is the position of the directory entry which is this box and then <clears throat> um, down here the left and the top is the position of the picture and so that's the way that works. So anyway, the dotted line that goes around these is uh, this feature up here, uh, show border lines. So um, that's, again, just a tool for helping you lay this out. So let's turn it off for a second. Now you can see what it looks like when it would actually print. Okay. And uh, kind of related to that, there's this margin thing up here. You can uh, set page margins and display the page margins. Let's go ahead and click display real quick. Okay, you'll notice that my margins are right to the edge, and that's because the default printer that I'm using is actually a PDF printer, and a PDF printer doesn't uh, have an unprintable area uh, where most physical printers do. So if you're initially designing for a PDF, um, then you can do that, and if you're taking it to a printer, they have a way of making it work so you can get edge-to-edge -edge, uh, printing so you don't have white space if you have like a graphic as a background. Um, but if you're printing it on your own printer or the uh, place that you're going to doesn't have that capability of edge to edge printing, then um, you can use set page margins and you can specify what the margins are of the unprintable area. So I'm going to do just 0.20 for the example here. And so now you can see. If you have any of this stuff positioned outside of this area, it's going to cause you problems when you go to print. It's either going to cut it off, cause an additional page to be printed because, um, you know, the, the printer says, whoops, you're beyond the limits of this page. I'm going to print it on the next page. So that can happen or can just cut it off, one of those two. All right, so let's turn that back off. Or let's just leave it on for now. That's like the red is warning, warning, you're outside of the area. Okay, let's describe what we have here for the directory pages, the tabs right here. So you can have a background image, um, which is very similar. It is a background image, just like we showed you on the cover. If we go back to the cover, this is a background image. And let's go back to the directory pages. 
we're just going to skip that because we've already went over that. And we, I think we can skip uh, the background image position and the width and the height. We've already covered those. Let's go back to um, the directory entry itself. Well, let's uh, let's go to page numbers real quick first. So page numbers, um, there's a few options with that. A lot of people like kind of sort of an index uh, view of the pages. So um, on this particular page, uh, we've got A N D to C-A-R, which is Anderson to Carmichael, and this is page one. So another format is just print page and number index like this, page one, go back to this and the car, or don't print them at all. Okay, so those are the three choices. And then you can decide where do you want that to print. So let's open that again. So. Um, again, it, this is the dotted line of where that is. So if I wanted to move that a little bit to the left, let's say uh, it's a quarter inch. And I wanted uh, the top to be eight. And I want to increase the width to four and a half. Okay, let's go for 0.75. Well, I think that let's go to five because that's what the other uh, one was. So you could you could do something like that, and of course set the font again um, to whatever you want. Let's uh, just use this for an example. Okay, yuck, that's ugly. Let's choose something else. All right, yes, I don't know. Let's just use that. Okay. So um, back to the meat of this page designer is laying out this and what people struggle with with other applications or other software packages. All right, so you, uh, you have a picture area and a, um, the area for the fields. Um, and the, the templates that we talked about earlier, you can select one that's most like uh, what your final goal is. In this case, we wanted to have five uh, people on a page, five directory entries on a page, and um, we wanted the text to the right, so we selected booklet, uh, one column, and uh, five entries. So, like, let's say that, you, okay, you decide, well, I want only four, and now there's only four per page, and I want the picture to be bigger. But if I make the picture bigger, I'm going to have to move this box, the text area, to the left. So um, let's do that. Let's move the directory entry. Uh, let's go an inch to the left. So let's go to three. That's too much. Let's go to just three by itself. That's close, and that's so we're outside of our margin, so we want to go a little smaller. So 2.9. There we go. That looks good. All right, and so I think we have about a half an inch bigger that we can go on the picture. So let's change this to 2.3. All right, and we can go left on the picture because of our margins are good. So left for the picture is here, so let's change that to 2.5. Let's give it a little bit since it's right up against that, but I think it would have been good anyway. But Let's go 2.8 just so we can see the lines. There we go. Okay, now you can see I've got a little more width. You notice there's white space here because that's because it's maintaining <coughs> the uh, picture aspect ratio. This picture, the width and the height won't fit in these dimensions, so it can't resize it, um, and it just centers the picture within there. And you can decide uh, to center the picture, make it left, make it right, or whatever you want. So let's make it center because we want to try to fill up as much space as we can. And we're going to make the entries a bit bigger of the picture. So let's make the height 
bigger now so that the pictures start to get bigger. So let's change this to 1.6. All right. So that's what that would look like. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how that works. Um, now this spacing between, okay, uh, we talked about the rows, one down, uh, four across. I mean, one across, four down. And then, uh, so this space entries between flows. Um, space between entries and flows, I'm sorry. Uh, what this is, is um, if you have multiple columns, then you uh, want to put, you. Uh, this kind of defines how much space horizontally and vertically are between them. And then this button versus this button, um, you don't see any difference when you press it here because we've only got a col one column, one directory entry per um, per row, and so we don't see any changes. But if you had multiple, uh, this graphic kind of understands how how that flows. It either flows this way, across, and then down, or down, then across, and up and down, and so on. So. Um, I, th I think um, if you play around with it, you'll you'll uh, get to understand how that works. Okay. All right. So, and um, if you run into issues where it's like, I'm not exactly sure how to do that, there's the help button up here. Just click help. It brings up the help for the application. And it's context sensitive, to, so it shows uh, the, con the um, help for exactly the area that you're working in. And uh, of course, you can search up here as well. So let's uh, exit out of here. And that's pretty much it. That's how Page Designer works. I don't want to spend too much time because uh, you know people have things to do. So let's go ahead and save this. And it's saved. And now let's exit out of here. And now we want to print. So uh, you can print either the print button down here or the print icon up here. Um, and when you go to print, it doesn't print right away. It brings up a dialog for you to select options to print. So we'll click print. And you can see it shows a preview. Uh, it starts out with the cover, since that's always going to be the first page. This directory, so it has 20 pages. So you can go to a specific page see what it looks like just uh, for the sake of uh, you know not having to go find a bunch of images that I'm not you know copy having any copyright issues I just kind of did some drawings that uh, filled this in so that's why that looks like that so let's go back let's go to page three uh, you'll see uh, the first directory entry so um, that's there so as I, as I said before you can page through this and it gives you exactly what is on every page of the directory before you actually print and by default since uh, the last very last thing that you're working on was a page designer form because um, you were in page designer and you created your own custom layout uh, this is the style that will be will show up here and then the page design that will show up here which page designs are files with an extension of that gpd so um, you can select one by default it conveniently puts the one that you were just working on here and you can print so if I wanted to do other styles besides something I created with page design if you click the drop down you can see there's print printing labels and there's all kind of different uh, types here that you can select from and these are Avery based print labels so if you buy Avery labels you can print your directory um, with that for a mailing list or, or, or whatever your needs are. So, um, and there's this option here that says, okay, I want to print a return address label. What that means is whatever directory entry you currently have hired, uh, highlighted, and notice this says Anderson. Let me make this bigger. This says Earl Anderson, Earl Anderson, Earl Anderson, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's because I have this checked. Um, which says I want return address label. So whatever uh, currently highlighted um, line you are in the list of your directory entries, that will be one the one that it chooses. So let's uncheck that, and you'll notice that it all of a sudden shows all of the different directory entries. So an uh, important thing to note there. You can also um, check this box and then select a logo that you want. 
let's say you're doing uh, return address labels and you wanted you know some fancy logo next to your name um, that would allow you to do that so we're not going to do that right now because um, this is about page designer not about the other features all right so let's go back to page designer form um, and you can decide okay I, I want these fields um, it's best to leave it as you already had it with page designer because when you start messing with this um, then you know it might not fit in your layout and you won't know that because you're not visually inspecting it um, I mean you could here but it's best to do it uh, another way okay so let's go ahead and print so we click begin print it starts to print and then because I had pre I had uh, the primo PDF as my printer it's going to print to a PDF file so it uh, starts the print process creates the uh, the print um, directory in memory and then uh, the create PDF says okay uh, let's go ahead and prompt you for where you want to put that so we're going to click create PDF and let's call it uh, my tutorial and click save and again this is not a picture director for Windows file this is specifically a PDF which is the results of your print so let's click save and remember where you put it um, before you print it by the way because I, I did not remember but I think I know where it's at so let's take a look try to find it here I think it's here and here and yep there it is so now if we bring this up there's the directory okay so again it's booklet so this is the front cover this is the back cover if you fold it in half um, that uh, it basically wraps around the inside pages and this would be the back so let's got a page through here so this is the inside front this is the inside back remember we put a page this page intentionally left blank and I spelled intentionally wrong so um, that would be something I'd need to go back and correct mm -hmm. so then here's the very first page um, and then this one is blank because Again, because it's booklet, um, you know, it has to, basically, it cannot print less than uh, four directory um, pages because it's a front and back of two pages, and there's two on each side of the sheet. So that's why that's blank there. Okay, and the same reason for this one, too. And it, it might not make sense actually looking at it here, but when you printed this and, and uh, put all the folded the pages in half and put them together, you would say, oh, yeah, that works perfect. Okay. So then the calendar events is the uh, page here. Then this is page 3, 4, 13. Again, think of you're going to place another piece of paper on the top. So the next one will play, say 5, 12. So let's just see if that's right. So yeah, 5 here, 12 here. Then 6 here, 11 here, 10 here, 7 here. And the last page, there, your very inside page, would be pages 8 and 9. So that's picture directory for Windows, the feature of the page designer uh, feature, how to create a page design, and then how to finally print it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, uh, you know, let's uh, post a chat. I'd like to hear from you in the, uh, in the comments section. And... Uh, you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.